Hello everyone. So this is just me like finishing off uh, one of the uh, content joke videos that I did while I'm for the playthrough. So what you can expect the next following videos is generally just me uh, finishing off the gameplay and sharing my experiences. Because uh, as I said, this game has a lot of like sentimental attachments towards my uh, childhood. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So like I talked about what Onward Project is in terms of this. Uh, uh, where I want to like uh, put the recordings for this. So this basically means that I want to uh, get more into like competitive battling and crafting my own team for their own stat boosts. You know, that's what I'm trying to like uh, push forward in terms of like where I push forward in terms of like uh, uh, sharing gameplay, game me gaming. So like, well, in this case, it would be like a. Uh, uh, PvP Pokemon battles and you know try out the ladder a bit. There's always some cool new gimmick thing that I didn't think about and hopefully I can craft something that's outside the meta just for fun to be able to be uh, to play on the battle stadium format for uh, the competition. I assume that's as far as I'll go just try to get the laddering uh, for this before I close the chapter until maybe the next uh, installment of a new game or the next DLC that will be in the second part that will be released next year. Uh, but yeah, no, I had a decent amount of time and enjoyment. I played it just uh, 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 blindly, about six hours in. So yeah, uh, I'm quite sure most people have already kind of finished the game at this point. It's, most been, it's still been less than a week or so, but uh, I I got the collectibles that I want. And like, <laughs> there's just a simple t attachment, because like Pokemon Homes in your phone, right? So I feel like I'm carrying my digital buddies that I've ha I played with. Uh, what does it mean when I go and out and check out stuff? And if there are any more fans out there, I like to flex what I got. <laughs> uh, there's still some mythics that I haven't been able to collect, and most predictably, like uh, Sword and Shield. And uh, in terms of shiny decks, I, I don't really like all the color planning for shiny decks. I'm not that into Pokemon to say that I'm going to make a, a living shiny decks. But I have fun with it, so I mainly want to collect the shinies that I wanted. Maybe for completion sake, but I figured I'd be playing it as a game or taking care of something else that's a priority in my life. <laughs> in, in comparison to like uh, making the satisfaction to show I'm the true Poké poke complete this. <laughs> complete this. Uh, yeah, that's it really. It's the structure of why I was thinking about my ice team. See, ice team I think feels weaker, in my opinion. Currently in the state where I kind of like analyze without having tried the PvP scene, like Snow defensive stats seems all right, and you have to set a movement for the uh, ability. But I think I prefer the application where uh, Hail would had the yeah, similar effects to uh, to Sandstorm, which is probably something I could play around with later on. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy just me kind of like exploring the other aspects of this uh, world. Kimikito or Kitariko? I don't even know, man. The story isn't too bad in this DLC section, though, by the way. Kitakami, sorry.
I wonder if you can like transfer all the Alola versions, all different variant Pokemon to this game. Eventually they'll all come across when the, the final DLC comes in. And I'm wondering if I'm like gonna keep my- yeah I'm actually gonna put my collections, all my collection Pokemon once I've organized certain things because like it's- the home is like kind of like mixed up with my brother's Pokemon and I want to put them on one side and separate it just to like completion is safe saying uh, oh yeah the OT for most of these are, are mine but there's some exceptions of like some exclusives obviously usually I play the opposite you know me play one version my brother plays the other <laughs> I, I just like collecting stuff you know this is the main aspect of it and like critters and collections low maintenance also you can't afford real pets and real animals for my secret because this is you know video games is an alternative option it's just che much cheaper Unless there's possibilities.
I heard, uh, what you call, that, uh, Apon is one of the exclusive for my version, and Gl uh, Gligar is the other one. Uh, for connectivity as well, just making a distinction. <laughs> there was like six of them on one channel or so. I think I still have to like, find the Eliminis and then Vault Beat, if I want to like, complete it. But for the purpose of this video, and this series, it is not to show you how to collect these things, but that kind of goal of mine. The main goal is just sharing my playthrough and also having fun with this Seeing as I am looking to incorporate uh, gaming into my channel to show uh, as a kind of minor thing rather than the overbearing themes because you know I'm a person I like to have fun and I feel game gaming videos get consumed better in terms of entertainment in terms of people willing to watch stuff <laughs> it's not always that we get an opportunity to make something funny, and it be more channel focused. I'm kind of just trying this current strategy of a let's play format with um, the DLC to see if it's picked up nicely and popular on uh, reception to my audience, which I'm still trying to figure you guys out, to be honest guys. <laughs> I don't know everything about you guys yet, but I, I, I am hoping to uh, get some understanding with who I am trying to entertain with in this manner by trying a few different strategies along the lines.
<laughs> I'll, I'll do this just to like, uh, what you call? Capture some of the Pokemons to fill the decks. And why not? You know, like, just want to see what was available. Where you can catch the rates here, not too bad. You catch some of the more exclusive ones as well. Yeah, yeah, influx of these type of raids more recently when I'm trying to hurt perform herbas. Which inevitably makes it so like if you only have a base game for Scarlet and Violet, this is just looking out for like global available raids is a good way of like capturing more Pokemon that's not available to you. I kind of am an OG, so I have a lot of old Pokemon, uh, uh, old Pokemon data from like uh, completing the species into the, my living decks, which is what I'm trying to do. I think I literally am just missing like some of the difficult ones, which got released in like uh, events. So like it's a Rude, uh, what's the other one they call? Like, I, I cannot get them at all, right? So, like, Zerok, the electric one that has Plasma Fist. I think those are the only two, like, mythicals that I technically do not have in terms of species for uh, having an official living deck with all the different five Pokemon. And in the variants, I don't really have them, but, like, I think in certain games, they don't have certain ones, like, Furfro can't be a uh, available in terms of different. Uh, Vari variations when you store it in home, which is where I'm looking to put all my Pokemon later on and organize them.
Hey everyone, thank you for putting the effort to watch uh, the effort I placed on making something of an entertaining video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I said before, uh, it's not for us, but like I really would appreciate any uh, uh, contribution and support you give to this channel as it gives me more motivation and uh, more incentive to enjoy more uh, video creating and, and uh, content creation. Uh, if you find that the content uh, drifts away at any point, you can always subscribe. It's no big deal. Again, it doesn't do, it doesn't mean much. Uh, it doesn't take much from you, and but it means a whole bunch of me. And it feel it would feel great if you were just reward my efforts of trying to be, uh, you know, positive and contributionary. Thank you so much. Bye.